Wow, I have a day all to myself and I want to share twice. I'm out walking with Miley now. Took the others this morning. Here's Miley. There's a Miley. Good mama. She's the grandma of all the puppies we just had. Heart. My heart still wants to share. And Jesus is the heart. The Christos. The crossing. The crux. The center. Heart chakra center, right? Your arms out. The Vitruvian Man by Leonardo da Vinci. The crossing is the heart. As above, three chakras above, so below. So, I just had an insight walking here because my heart was feeling some things. Here's Miss M. What you doing, Miss M? Did you have a good Christmas? Did you notice how crazy we are? <laughs> She's nine. She's still really playful. Overharding is just as bad as underharding. Underharding, we know. It's Nick Rockefeller telling Aaron Russo, watch that movie, From Freedom to Fascism, uh, which is happening right now, the fascism, right? Uh, and not by who you think you are. I would say it's actually not Trump. Anyway, or Putin, for that matter. That's how it flips. It's not as skim milk masquerades as cre cream. Things are seldom as they seem. So overharding is mother smother. Add an S. Satan, if you will. Although he's not such a bad guy, by the way. The real Satans are the ones that hide. The ones that pretend they're the light. Oh, we're here to help you. Kind of like the International Monetary Fund going, sure, Uganda, here, let us lend you $10 billion and now you'll own your, we'll own your souls and be able to rape your country. Confessions of an economic hitman, a guy who actually used to do that job for USAID, for the U.S. government, telling about it. Overharding, underharding, meaning deception, deceivious, devious ways of controlling people. We all know what that's like. That's George Soros with Media Matters trying to stamp out free speech. That's full-on Nick Rockefeller telling Aaron Russo, what do you care about these useless eaters? We're going to get rid of six and a half billion people on the planet. George Guidestones, look it up. We know how icky that is, slaughtering people because they're useless eaters, those that wanted to create World War III and are trying to. We know evil, in a sense, non-compassion, treating human as sheeple, using them as Kissinger says, military men are stupid animals that we just use willy-nilly for our foreign policies. We know how icky that is. We know how bad underharding, not caring, uh, betraying your friends, mean girls, gossiping behind each other's back, that nastiness. We know what that's like. But overharding... See, that's underharding. That's, I'm selfish, I don't give a fuck about you. We all know what that's like, if you're of the heart crowd. But overharding is just as unbalanced. That is mother smother. Oh, darling, let me help you fix your tie and everything. Smother mother is just as damaging as the elite wanting to treat you just as fodder to feed on. It's just the same unbalance. I was just arguing with, with Jesus. I said, you know, I want to heal my heart, but I want to do it better than you. I know that. I know. I, I want to learn from your mistakes. Overharding. Sacrificing yourself for others. Biting the hand that's trying to help. I'm with a woman who's got that pattern. She reflects that to me. We sacrifice ourselves. It's a deep imprint. Mother Teresa, you can argue whether she was selfish or not, if you look deep enough. But overharding. Oh, I just want to help. I can immediately run over there and help you. Do you need anything? You know, just as bad. Overmothering. We all know what that's like. Smother. It turns into Satan's mother. Smother. So ask a balanced heart. I want balanced heart, wise as serpents. It's Jesus' birthday, supposedly, at least that's what we celebrate. So let's use some of his words. 
wise as serpents, still gentle as doves, meaning you can't get fooled again. So ask for balanced heart. Let heart find its rightful place. Let heart find its rightful place in me. Center, smart King Arthur, knights of the round table, advice, but my heart, my wise heart, my awake heart, my mature heart. We all know what, like we look at our teenagers and they fall in love and it's like, it's the end of the world. We know it's not, but that's unbalanced heart. And it needs to get the shit kicked out of it if your love affair has gone wrong. Hopefully you don't kill yourself in the process. And you got a shot at balancing your heart. Over heart, just as damaging. By their fruits you should know them, as Jesus says. Meaning, if your child turns to you and says, Well, maybe you shouldn't, I never asked for your help. And you've been letting them live at your house for two and a half years. And they turn on you and bite the hand that feeds you. That's in Joy's family. And I felt it coming, saw it. Couldn't say a thing about it. Needed to let them step in the hole. So, the, the, the unhealed, over-caring, over-hearting, just as unbalanced. Just as unbalanced as, Mr. Burns, I don't give a shit about the people. Let's make money off them. Same thing. You ever notice he actually looks like John D. Rockefeller? It's archetypal, isn't it? Do you ever not notice George Soros and company, Kissinger, etc., all start looking like the emperor from Star Wars? We know what that shit is. That's not caring about people. But over-caring doesn't allow them a realistic upbringing or seeing. The social justice warriors now that are whining, oh, we've done some spoiling in some kids. And so they get to whine and act up because they didn't get a realistic picture. We try to make it overly easy for them because it wasn't easy for us. We do the pendulum swing. Live through the depression. I want to give everything to my kids. And then we want to do better than our parents. We don't want to tell them no. We want to tell them they can do everything. Everybody gets a trophy for just participating. Participation trophies. I'm not sure that's how nature works. You have to actually get shit done. So what's the best way to train them, to help people? Shiva, Jesus, et al., the big boys and girls, ayahuasca, they don't let me, they don't go, oh, here you go, Tobias, walk around. Like in that movie, Officer and a Gentleman, when, when Lou Gossett goes to Sugar Bridges, walk around, Sugar Bridges, you don't have to climb the wall. Yeah, is that helpful? No. So, overharding, oh sure, we'll give you an A for participating, doesn't help people. Sometimes, with wisdom, there's a right time to go, come here, darling, you're fine. It's super encouragement. If, but if that's all you give, you spoil them. And if all you do, the old style, which is, you know, A Boy Named Sue, that song by Johnny Cash, when you treat your kids so harshly, that they get wounded and damaged. That's obviously not helpful either. So the balance is somewhere in the middle. Where's the balanced heart? Where's the wise heart? Well, the masters work with me. About two, two, two sets ago down in, in Peru, um, I had a particular thing I had to go through. I had to face my own fears. Nobody was helping me. I could see ayahuasca recede. She walked back and observed. I could see other masters that I interact with. They said, we're watching, Tobias, but you've got to swim across the pool. You've got to step up and into this, and you've got to face this. Otherwise, you don't believe you can do it. So overharding becomes enabling. Underharding becomes cruel. Ask for the balanced heart. Be willing to feel your way through it. I'm out here walking, whether it's in my own head or whatever you want to think. I happen to know that Jesus is real, but I was... Miley, come on. Come on, darling. Miley, come. Come. She's wandering off. She's wondering why Daddy is staying over here in the light. And I love Miley. I love Miley. 
and she's a beautiful golden. But when we got her, she had been abused somehow, you know, like about going to the bathroom or whatever. And she had gotten a little devious. Like she, if you hurt kids too much, they get devious on you. They'll, they'll bite you in the back. So she was a little bit like that. And I had to discipline her a couple of times, just at the right level, so she knew that she's loved and that daddy loves her. And she learned very quickly. You cannot do certain devious things, you know, or do stuff. And it's taken her about two years to finally relax with the deep imprint she got for her being shamed or beaten or whatever it was, because she would shy, you know. And it's getting healed. But if I kept enabling that behavior in her, she'd eventually bite people. And then she has to be put down. So don't enable your kids. The universe will put them down. And that'll break your heart. All right. The wise heart. The middle road of the Buddha. Not over-hearting. Oh, oh, I want to rescue everybody and turn into the cat and dog lady and make sure there's no pain. That's obviously not healthy enough. Fuck them. Kill them off. Betray them. Steal their company. Who gives a shit? That's cruel. Where's the balance? Ask for balance. Wise heart. You ask the universe for that, it'll start to your angels, teachers, etc. Your own higher self, your own smartness, your own intuition will start teaching you that. All right, much love. Miley and I are going to go for a little longer walk, darling. Just taking her out by herself. So she feels... Not because I should make her feel important. Because I love her and I want to be with her. I do it intuitively. And she's really happy. She's like dancing and prancing with me. All right, much love. More later.